Good King Wenceslas is a well-known Christmas carol that has been sung since the mid-19th century. Who was King Wenceslas, however, and what is the story behind this carol? Wenceslas was Duke of Bohemia, modern-day Czech Republic, until his death in 935 AD. Born the son of a pagan mother and recently converted Christian father, Wenceslas would become a Christian saint following his death. After the death of his Christian father in 921 AD, there was a power vacuum and a regency existed, with Wenceslas eventually due to become king. At this time, the spread of Christianity into Bohemia by missionaries from Germany created hostility from the traditional pagan nobility, with much of Bohemia still pagan. During this regency, which was led by his mother, a persecution of Christian priests began, and general hostility towards Christians existed. Once he reached adulthood, Wenceslas ascended the throne, with the kingdom split in half and his younger brother ruling half of Bohemia. Both he and his brother were given the title of Duke to avoid any disputes between them over the crown. At the time of ascension, Wenceslas banished his mother, sparing her actual punishment for persecuting priests, but stripped her of any influence and power. He immediately made sure all priests were protected, and further missionaries encouraged to spread Christianity into Bohemia. Wenceslas sought to instill justice and mercy in his reign, detesting the injustice and persecution of all people. He was said to have visited the working areas of his castle, and gave gold coins to those who were servants working in harsh conditions. He also visited the prisons within his kingdom, giving blessings to those imprisoned, with the hope of their conversion to Christianity, even going as far as securing prisoners' release if they were old and frail. He also learned of the suffering within the townships of his kingdom, where people lived in wretched conditions. The carol created in 1853 speaks of him wanting to provide goods to some of these peasants, which is also based on a 12th century account describing Wenceslas as getting up each night barefoot, travelling through the cold to provide alms to the poor, from widows to orphans to prisoners, and those afflicted with every difficulty. He was also said to visit households that were poor in the middle of the night, discreetly so they would not be shamed by their neighbours into seeing how desperate they were in receiving his charity. Issues arose from Wenceslas, however, in 929, when following support of the expansion of German missionaries' Christianization of Bohemia, Wenceslas also submitted to the Saxon king of Germany, after facing invasion of Bohemia. This provided Wenceslas' enemies with an excuse among their anti-Christian grievances to eventually have him assassinated. In 935, at the instigation of his brother, Wenceslas was murdered. Following his death, Wenceslas was given the title of King of Bohemia and became a saint of the Roman Catholic Church. His statue exists today at St. Agnes Fountain in modern-day Prague. The legacy of King Wenceslas can be summed up by the 12th century account which stated Wenceslas was considered not a prince, but the father of all of the wretched. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to be updated with new videos.